Welcome to our lecture online. So in this video we're going to take a look on one of the dangers of traveling to Mars. Now of course traveling to Mars has enormous complications and dangers. Just safely making it there, landing safely, surviving on the surface of the planet until you're able to come back and have the technology to come back, all that still needs to be worked out and by no means that's going to be easy to do and it's going to be extremely expensive to figure out how to bring people to Mars, how to have them survive, and how to have them come back alive. Right now, all missions planned are one-way trips because we don't have the technology yet to bring anybody back from Mars for a lot of reasons. But there's another danger that we often overlook, the danger of radiation. Now, let's see what kind of radiation we are typically exposed to. Well, the annual cosmic radiation on Earth, on the surface of the Earth, is only 0.2 millisieverts. That's a relatively small dose because we're relatively protected at low elevations. This number does go up if you live at higher elevations. The average yearly dose of a typical American citizen living in the United States is about 3.5 millisieverts per year, and at least half of those are typically due to natural causes. But sometimes we undergo some special therapeutic uh, events, such as getting a full body CT scan. Now it turns out that a full body CT scan today, with the typical equipment that we use, will induce a radiation dose of about 8 millisieverts, which is about 2 to 3 times what we normally get during an entire year. So this is not good. Uh, this could have long-term effects on your health, and so you want to minimize CT scans. You want to have a CT scan when you need one for medical reasons, but you do want to consider the, the pros versus the cons in getting CT scans, because that is a significant amount of radiation dose. Notice the Department of Energy says that for any employee working around nuclear material, like in a nuclear power plant, you should not receive more than a total of 20 millisieverts during an entire year, which is about two and a half CT scans. So that's the maximum allowed dose. Typically, uh, workers in nuclear power plants will have little car detectors on them all the time when they go inside the plant, and that registers how much uh, how much uh, radioactivity they're exposed to and once it reaches 20 they're no longer allowed to work in the plant for the rest of the year until the following year comes back and then it gets reset back to zero and they can start up again so that's the maximum allowable radiation dose for a worker for their health and their safety now if you're going to be an astronaut and spend six months on the ISS the International Space Station you'll receive 75 millisieverts, which is almost four times the maximum allowed by the Department of Energy for any person working in around nuclear materials. Now, what kind of radiation will you receive when you go to Mars? When you go to Mars, a six-month trip, you'll receive about 320 millisieverts, which is about a hundred times the amount any person typically gets during an entire year. Then spending 500 days on the surface of Mars, you'll receive about another 320 or so millisieverts. And then if you have the technology in the spaceship to bring you back to the Earth, that trip will add another 320 millisieverts. Close to a thousand millisieverts, one whole sievert of radiation on a trip to Mars and back. Well, that is about 20 goes into a thousand, that's 50 times the maximum allowable radiation a person should receive in any one year. Of course, a trip to Mars like this would take about two and a half years. So two and a half years, that's about 400 per year. That would be about 20 times the maximum allowed by any employee working in a nuclear power plant or around a nuclear power plant. So that's a tremendous amount of radiation for a period of two and a half years, which is the minimum a trip to Mars and back would take. Well, that's a lot of radiation. That's potentially a lot of radiation damage. And people with that kind of radiation exposure almost certainly would experience quite a bit of health effects from that kind of exposure. And that's just one of the dangers of traveling to Mars, one that cannot be protected against. You're going to be exposed to that radiation. So for those who are very enthusiastic about signing up on a trip to Mars, you should be aware of all the ramifications of doing so. 
and radiation is just one of those. And uh, they have thousands of people lined up to, to go to Mars, yes. <laughs> that is indeed true. <laughs>